Oh, beautiful. Oh. Absolutely beautiful. Lionel Messi strikes in 22 and Stanislav Chakarov has the lead. Ok hey guys, if you wanna buy the cheapest FIFA 16 Ultimate Team coins, FIFA points or even accounts, go check the link in the description. Discount code WIKIBG. Ok hey fellas, WIKIBG here and it's time for a new tutorial on my channel. Today I will show you the best possible player instructions in FIFA 16 after the patch. Before we start with the tutorial, if you appreciate my work, then leave a like and subscribe for my channel and like that you will show me once again your amazing support. Now let's go to the main part, today's tutorial, enjoy! As always we will put to all of our defenders stay back while attacking, guys never change this when we talk about our defense, because if you want to have a strong and stable defense you need to use that option, if you change it then your players will make a lot of stupid runs and there will be a lot of chances for your opponents to score really easy goals. It's time for our CDMs, we will put to both of them cut passing lines, stay back while attacking and aggressive interceptions. With those settings they will help a lot, really a lot your defense. But attention please, after the patch players get tired really quickly, so when we put aggressive interceptions here, maybe around minute 60, one of your CDMs will need to be changed. Remember to check always the stamina of your players when you see that the timer shows minute 60 or 65. About our wings, even after the patch I've tried a lot of settings here, changed everything and I've realized that the best settings for them are still the default settings, so don't change anything when we talk about your wings. We will put get into the box for cross to our attacking midfielder and when you see that option it doesn't mean that you need to play for crosses only, no 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 no, the idea here is that thanks to this option your attacking midfielder will try to run as much as possible to your opponent's penalty box area and like that you will have always two strikers. And last but not least our striker here we will use drift wide and get him behind with those settings he will make as much as possible runs behind our opponent's defenders and every time when you make an attack he will run in different directions so it will be really unpredictable and hard for your opponent to stop your ST. So you know the best player instructions, the best formation for me is still the 4-2-3-1 wide formation, I've played with that formation and those instructions in the last two tournaments in Bulgaria and not only I won them but I've made only wins and zero loses. That was today's tutorial guys, I hope that you like it and if we smash let's say 60 likes until tomorrow, I will upload a video about the best team in the game after the patch. Of course I will make a full review of that team. If you have any requests or questions, write your comments down below. Also you can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash wikibg and like my page on Facebook, facebook.com slash wikibg, links are in the description. If you enjoyed that video then subscribe and join Team Wiki. My name is Taz, until next time my friends, bye bye. As I promised today I will show you the best possible custom tactic in FIFA 16 after the patch. All of you know that this patch changed a lot the game, so let's